They trying to overcharge the fuck out of me and it's not happening. They got these outrageous prices, especially if you're traveling alone. I will look it up before I ever trust what a Jamaican telling me about a price out here. This is not what Bob Marley had wanted for us. When the fruits are free, you're not supposed to be getting over on people and overcharging them for mangoes that fall from the tree for free. Let me tell you this, on the road and me gal do mix, I'm just alone. Welcome back to my channel, the channel for loners, where I put you on, because if I don't put you on, who's going to put you on? And today, we are in beautiful Jamaica. This is part three of the Montego Bay Jamaica vlog. Ba, 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 ba. Cheers. If you have not watched the first two parts of this vloggy vlog series, I encourage you to go back and look. We did a few things. I think that you would enjoy the first two. Make sure you see that before you watch this so that you can understand kind of where I'm coming from, you know? I don't want nobody to take it no kind of way. This is what we're drinking. I want to give you a little context. I came to Jamaica three times before this is my fourth trip to jamaica when i came to jamaica the first three times it was before covid i came back here twice in one year one time before my experience has been a little different post covid and that's what i want to talk about as a experienced traveler a frequent flyer i would say to jamaica i have some things to say i've never experienced let me see how I want to say this. You cannot out hustle somebody from New York, from Brooklyn, New York. You cannot out hustle somebody from Bottom Town, St. Vincent. Somebody coming from America who constantly monitors their finances on a day to day basis. You think on vacation, I wouldn't know that you're trying to get over on me. I have never experienced so much hustle trying to out hustle me out of my money. I've never experienced the overcharging of common goods like I have this trip. I'm able to get a bang for my buck when I come to Jamaica most of the time. This time, pre-COVID, I was able to do Duns River Falls, Mystic Mountain, all these different excursions. They was affordable back then now they got these outrageous prices especially if you're traveling alone this is the channel for loners hello they trying to overcharge the fuck out of me and it's not happening i tried to get a drink multiple times from bars and they're trying to overcharge me it's not gonna happen yesterday i went to a bar i ordered two soft drink and a quarter bottle of liquor three bottles two soft drinks and one small bottle of liquor. I asked the woman the price, she tells me 2,000 Jamaican dollars. I say, all right, how much US is that? She tells me 20 US dollars. My intuition start, my intuition already start. Mind you, I'm with a local, so it's me and this boy. He is a local boy and the bartender is a local Jamaican girl who's trying to out hustle me. You think the boy would look out for me and let me know that she overcharged me? No. They're both Jamaicans. They're gonna look out for each other. And I don't like that. I come from St. Vincent where we have a heart of gold. And even if we overcharge you, there's a few, maybe a dollar, two dollars more, because the American dollars go far. I take out my phone and I Google 2,000 Jamaican dollars converted to US dollars. and they show me $12.89. Bitch, you tried to overcharge me $7 for two sodas and a drink? She starts to explain to me the dollar here, my exchange rate, I changed the rate. So for this business, it costs a little more. The dollar doesn't go as far at her establishment i gave her the 13 dollars because it's 12 dollars and 89 cents according to google so i guess she the 13 dollars and she said actually you shorted me about 700 jamaican dollars that's what she says i said do you want those american dollars 
and I ain't blink. I dare you to say no. Let me see you say you don't want them American dollars. You want the thirteen dollars or you don't want it? What y'all think she did? I'll give y'all a minute. She took that shit. When the next time you think these Jamaicans is gonna see American dollars? And I'm sorry I had to pull that card. But yes, you're gonna accept this 13. Or else I'll go somewhere else where the rate is lower than what the fuck you talking about. And that's New York. I don't care that I don't speak fluent patois. You could be ordering a drink. You could be ordering food. You could be going to an excursion. Transportation expenses. They are overcharging you at every step. And I've never experienced this. And I'm sorry to say that greed has taken over Jamaica. I'm sorry to say that. I'm a Leo. I don't know if it's the fire sign in me. But I'm real thorough. I do my due diligence. You see, once there's diligence to be done, I'ma do it. Diligence was due, it's done. Just know that's the case with me. If you feel me, drop a comment down below, drop a like, because I don't know if it's a fire sign. I don't know if it's a black thing. I don't know if it's a New York thing, a Brooklyn thing, a Caribbean thing. Take it as a level of disrespect that you trying to get over on me and I know money. I know real money and it's disheartening because I would purchase an apartment, a house or something here in the Caribbean. But guess what? Guess what? Not with all the robbery because guess what? If they robbing me for a drink at a bar and they overcharging me to go to Duns River Falls and they want to overcharge me for all of this bullshit, they're going to overcharge me and say it's property tax. Thousands of dollars. I wouldn't know yesterday. I was going for Aki and Sawfish. The taxi man that somebody put me on to, he didn't even go that far. But you know what he did? He tried to make it seem like we went far by going the longest route possible. And then he wanted to charge me $50. Yeah, let's be fucking for real. And that's the thing about United States and in America and New York. And you come to these Caribbean islands, you got to be fucking for real. Because we looking for the logic in it. I'm still looking for the logic in it. Make it make fucking sense. Make it make sense. We in this car for so long for Sawfish and Aki. A simple breakfast that I could have went from foot and fine. And you want to charge me? You know I didn't pay that. You know I had to tell her. And one thing about it, I'm going to address it. I don't know if it's a Leo, a New York thing, or whatever. But I'm going to address it. Who you thought you was getting over on? I want Jamaica to do better. I know that it's tough times. Everywhere it's tough times. Please don't think it's only y'all island. Y'all are gonna kill the tourism that y'all have been building for years by overcharging the people who would have been returning customers. And the fact that I gotta pop my style and say, yo, this is what I'm paying. You want it or you don't, and you take it is trash, trash. This is not what Bob Marley had wanted for us. This is not what the gods have wanted. Our ancestors have not wanted this for the islands. When the fruits are free, you're not supposed to be getting over on people and overcharging them for mangoes that fall from the tree for free. I'm trying to say work on it. Work on it. I have Google. I have data. International data. I will look it up before I ever trust what a Jamaican telling me about a price out here and about the exchange rate. I'm not dealing with y'all for real. I only came here to swim and experience the island and I just, and I bought this bottle at the airport for a reason. I'ma compare Jamaica right now in 2023 to Mexico. When you go to Mexico, you could do parasailing, kayaking, horseback riding, zip lining, and ATVs, and a catamaran cruise all in one day, and it's bundled up for one special price with transportation included to and from. Now they got Jamaica beat? That's what you wanna tell me? They got Jamaica beat because they bundling up the excursions and they got the transportation, they taking care of the people. All you could do for me right now is take me to Duns River Falls. Me do all of the things at Duns River Falls for maybe an hour or so, and then you can bring my ass back. That's the only thing that I can do. And you're still overcharging me. No.
Amen. Oye, tú has hecho... Much, much, much later.